over 702 blocks in Minecraft, some more rare than others. But many of those blocks you can also find in real life, and others are completely made up. So it's my job to find the rarest blocks from Minecraft that can also be found in real life. Starting with, Minecraft stone has a 1 in 5 rarity, or 20%, and is the most common block in the game. Stone is just as common in real life as in game, and yeah, apparently people used to make cars out of stone, kind of like the Flintstones. Dirt is the next most common block in Minecraft. Fun fact, diamond, netherite, and gold all mine dirt at the same exact rate, so uh, yeah, just save your materials for better things. And this is what dirt looks like in real life, guys. Big surprise. If you didn't know, dirt has over 5,000 different bacteria in just one gram of dirt. Sand has a 1 in 125 chance of being in your Minecraft world, which is a 0.08. Basically, a 1% of your Minecraft world is sand. Sand was one of the first Minecraft blocks to be added to the game, and if you look in the hotbar, its original texture is the background of the hotbar. And this is what it looks like in real life. Big surprise. This is what you walk on when you go on vacation or what gets stuck in places like the human shadow realm. Very few animals actually live in sand, unlike in Minecraft where bunnies, pigs, and many other mobs all roam. Next is sandstone, which makes up one out of every 175 blocks you run across. Not only that, but sandstone has eight times the blast resistance than any other normal block. Just like that, boom! And this is what it looks like. It's thought that sandstone can actually be used to treat wounds, broken bones, and even restore eyesight. I'm not exactly sure how that would work on, on the science part of it, you know, because uh, basically it's hardened sand, but I'm not here to argue against it. I'm just here to show you guys what it looks like. Coal has a rarity of one in every 316 blocks in Minecraft, which is a 0.00314%. A full stack of this block, aka the coal, will smelt for over 14 plus hours, equaling over 40 Minecraft days. And this is what it looks like in real life. It's actually really shiny compared to, you know, the block in game, and it gets immediately attached to your hands, which is annoying because you have to wash your hands, but this is pretty cool in itself. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test to see if it can actually microwave, just like how you do in Minecraft with a furnace. So we're gonna put it inside, and then we're gonna put that to the test on how it works. The next block we were able to obtain was oak logs, which is a 1 in 1,000 chance of, uh, you know, coming up in your Minecraft world. And as Minecraft once said, without collecting wood, it's almost impossible to play Minecraft. Seriously, try to play Minecraft without wood. It will be as much fun as playing blindfolded. And this is what an oak tree looks like in real life. This may not be oak exactly, but oak trees can live up to 1,000 years. I'm not sure which family was like severely addicted to watching trees grow and calculate how many years it survived, but they did that. And now we know that they lived 1,000 years. Next we have calcite, which is this little white block right here, which has a 1 in 1,100 chance of you coming across it in your Minecraft world. And if you're like me, you didn't know this block existed. I'll be honest. Apparently, it's literally just for decoration. This thing serves no purpose but to be used as a decoration block. I genuinely had to look it up to make sure that this was in Minecraft. And this is what it looks like. The mineral calcite is well known for its varied crystal formations of which there are more than 300 different types. They make them seem a lot cooler in real life because the ones in Minecraft, Mojang really dropped the ball on this one because these are actually really, really interesting and cool and they look so beautiful. And the ones in Minecraft, you literally just throw out of your inventory because they're trash. Next is my favorite block, granite. This block has a rarity of 0.0009% of you coming across it in Minecraft. This is simply one of those blocks that if it ends up in your inventory, you throw it out every single time. It's just a decorative block, uh, genuinely. And this is what it looks like in real life. Granite is the oldest ingenuity rock in the world, believed to have been formed as long as 300 million years ago. Again, whoever spent the time watching this rocket old, props to you because nowadays everybody has the attention span of a goldfish. So uh, yeah, but this is what granite looks like. This is what you throw away every single time that ends up in your inventory. Not that cool, honestly. But, I mean, yeah, it's granite. Now we enter the top 10 rarest blocks. Next we have iron, which has a rarity of one in every 1300 blocks you'll come across in Minecraft. Did you know that one useful way of using iron is making iron bars and placing them when trying to heal a zombie villager? It will make them turn back to normal faster. And this is what it looks like in real life. Iron is one of the most common and abundant elements in the earth. So it's no surprise why we use them to build pickaxes and swords. This may just be a rock in my hand, but iron is also found in plants, animals, and all living things. So technically, if you need to find some diamonds, all you have to do is uh, look within your yourself and in in you right now. Next is gold, which has the same rarity as iron, which is one in every 1300. But not too long ago, Minecraft used to give you three golden blocks every time you mine just one gold. So it's definitely become more rare over time. So unfortunately, gold is not inside you. No matter how hard you look, I've looked everywhere and there is no gold. But it is a very soft element that for some reason, very wealthy people use to eat and like put it on foods and then they eat it and like it's just like a cool thing. But you know, I mean, gold is cool. Next up in rarity is copper, which has a one in every 1800 blocks chance of you walking 
over it at some point in Minecraft. And fun fact, at one point, it used to only take four copper to make a copper block. But since then, they recently changed it and updated it to what everything else is, which is nine, making these copper blocks behind me harder to get. And this is what it looks like in real life. This mineral is essential to our everyday lives, and it is also essential for human nutrition. And it is also a natural antibacterial agent. So like if you see a copper door handle, it's because they help prevent the spread of like diseases and stuff. So it's kind of like hand sanitizer, but like in a rock, you know what I mean? Next up in rarity is obsidian, which has a one in 2000 chance of you coming across it at some point in time in Minecraft naturally. And at one point, obsidian used to not even drop obsidian when you mined it in Minecraft. It used to only drop cobblestone. So it's definitely gained a little bit of rarity since you can get it now and obtain it. Even though it's pretty rare, it's commonplace in every single Minecraft world. And this is what it looks like in real life. And it came in this fancy little package because it's very expensive to get obsidian. Obsidian is actually not a stone and was once used as an ancient trade good to use for obsidian tools. So Mojang kind of once again dropped the ball by not dropping like some fire obsidian based tools. I mean, these things are compact. So they kind of missed out on making some really, really cool tools in Minecraft. Next is redstone, which also has a one in 2000 rarity of you coming across it in Minecraft. Not the block itself, but this block was the fifth ore to get added to the game, which, you know, is pretty cool. And just to ruin all of your guys' days, redstone is one of the only full size blocks where if you place it on top of a chest, you could still open it. Do with this, you know, what you want with it. Cause I, I, this is just insane that this works. And this is what it looks like in real life. Redstone itself is actually pretty cool. Now redstone itself is actually Mojang's way of distinctively separating itself from all of the blocks or ores because it's not real. Obviously it's very bright, it has a red color and this block may not exist in real life, but at least I found some really cool red rocks on Wish. Lapis, it has a one in 5,200 chance of it coming up in your Minecraft world, which is a 0.00019% chance of it coming up at some point in the game. Fun fact about Lapis, if you were to use Fortune 3 and mine Lapis, you have a chance to get up to 36 lapis lazuli. Right there, I just got 12. So if you guys ever come across this block, make sure you use the right enchantments because it's not worth just mining it normally. Lapis lazuli is one of the oldest opaque gemstones in history, more than 6,500 years old. It's actually very expensive gemstones. So if you could find them in large quantities in real life, make sure you send them to me. I'll double check to make sure they're real. And obviously, you know, I'll get them checked beforehand and all that good stuff. And I'll take care of it. So if you find them, just give them to me. Next up is diamond, which has a one in 15,000 chance of you coming across it. And I mean, it is the most sought after I think of Minecraft. Break that down, that's a 0.000066% chance of you coming across it. So, uh, you know, make sure you try your best and don't mess around because it'll take a while. Diamonds were actually also called emeralds before they were called diamonds in Minecraft. So we can be thankful that they are now what they are because this is offensive that they called it emeralds. And this is what it looks like. Diamonds are in fact the hardest natural substance known to man. They are 58 times harder than the next hardest mineral on earth. Once again, if you find any of this, send it to me and I will make sure it's real and get it graded all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Like, just send it to me, guys. It'll be totally fine. You're now in top three territory with a sponge. I'm not kidding. A sponge is one of the rarest blocks in the game. You guys probably did not see this coming. I didn't, that's for sure. And that's because there's a finite amount of sponges in Minecraft because they spawn in specific areas. So if you do find them, keep a hold of them and don't lose them because you're going to have trouble finding more. And this is what it looks like, guys. I don't know what you guys expected from me. It's a sponge. But did you know that sea sponges are actually animals? So, I mean, obviously not this sponge specifically, the ones that are like in the water. Apparently they're alive, but like they can't move. Next up is Amethyst, which has a one in 25,300 chance of you coming across it. It is the most beautiful block in the game, I'd say. Amethyst is also a decoration block, so you can use this for things like tinted glass, which is also pretty cool. This also blocks light when you can still see through it, which is nice. And one of Minecraft's most recent additions, the spyglass, which you can use to then spy on people like this. Ooh, nice. Roo, 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 roo. And this is what they look like in real life, guys. These are my favorite by far. If you look, they have like these really, really cool glow to them and they have a bunch of different colors. Look at that, wow, wow, wow. These definitely look the best out of all of the different Minecraft ores and whatnot. This is, this, this is definitely the best. These used to be as valuable as like rubies and emeralds, but they actually found a bunch of deposits in like Brazil. So they ended up becoming less valuable, but nonetheless, they are still incredibly beautiful. You can, t you can tell here there's like different shades of uh, amethyst here. It looks insane. This one, this one's crazy. And finally, for the rarest block in Minecraft, we have emerald ore. You have a one in 75,000 chance of coming across this ore because they usually only come in groups of one. This was the rarest block we were able to get from Minecraft and emeralds were the seventh ore added to Minecraft. So, you know, I mean, I don't know why on seven they decided to make it super duper rare, but you know, they did. And this is what emerald looks like in real life. More than 50% of the world's emeralds come from Colombia. So if you find any emeralds in Minecraft, that means you're in Colombia. And this was very expensive, so make sure you subscribe right now. Otherwise, I'm going to find you.